Here I'm going to show you a pretty exciting new application called Adobe Flash Catalyst. I'm not going to go into full detail, but I'm going to give you a little preview of what can be done bringing Illustrator artwork into Catalyst and bringing uh, artwork back from Catalyst into Illustrator to make late stage design changes. So what I have here is a design file that represents um, a website or some kind of a navigation tool. And I've put uh, artwork onto various different layers. So if I hide some of the layers, you can see that this is actually going to move from page to page, uh, cor corresponding to these buttons over here or to the buttons at the top. When I bring it into Flash Catalyst, I can add interactivity and animation, all without writing any code. So I've actually um, already done uh, part of this work, and I'm going to jump over to Flash Catalyst right now. And if you take a look here, you can see that I have the same content here. I have the same layers, which I can turn on and off to change the visibility of what's there. <clears throat> and I've actually already gone in and started uh, creating some of the interactivity. So for example, if we take a look at the transition down here, going from page one wheels to page two design, we can actually preview it right in the application. So what I did is I had all the content drag over onto the stage when we play this transition. Let's take a look again. I made similar transitions going from page two, which is called design, to page three, the city map. And I can preview all of these right here. Or if I want, I can go run these in a browser. So if I choose Run Project, it'll build a Swift file and open it in my default browser. And I can take a look at all the interaction that I've created for this little application. All right, it's exporting, opening it up in uh, Firefox here. And now you can see the exact same design uh, shown on the screen as an HTML page with Swift content. And if I click here, I get these sliding transitions to go from page to page. So let me close that and come back to Flash Catalyst. One of the great things is that all of the content that started as vector in Illustrator remains as vector. So everything in here on the map, for example, I can zoom way in and I get uh, full resolution vectors that render at the size that I want. So what I want to do now, though, is to show you how you can actually bring artwork back from Flash Catalyst into Illustrator. So let's say I'm uh, working on this design and showing some um, mock-ups to my client. Maybe, uh, maybe we're almost ready to publish it. But the client comes back and says, you know, I really like these buttons up at the top, but I'd like to see a little bit higher contrast between those buttons and their background. Well, a lot of that work can be done directly in Catalyst. You can um, change the appearance of objects to a large extent. But in this case, these buttons are a little bit complex. Uh, and Catalyst just sees these as a whole bunch of paths, all these little diagonal uh, paths going together. So it's easier to go back to Illustrator to edit it. Well, if I simply go here, right click on this artwork and choose Edit in Adobe Illustrator CS5, it puts up a message saying, hey, it's going to send it over to Illustrator. The file opens in Illustrator. Only the area that I wanted to edit is, um, is actually unlocked. The rest of it is a screenshot of the background so that I have a reference. And you can see up here there's some information about what I should do when I'm done. It says it's editing from Catalyst, and when I click Done, it'll actually close this file and bring me back over to Flash Catalyst. So I'm just going to take this whole thing and select it. I'm going to turn off um, the edges so that I don't see those while I'm working. And I'll make a quick change uh, to all of the colors using um, Live Color. So maybe I want to go in here and I want to make it, uh, make it all a bit brighter so there's more contrast against the foreground buttons. I want to change that part to um, kind of an orange color to go with the overall scheme and then maybe make this background a little bit darker. So I've got something that looks a little bit like more like a warning tape pattern or something like that. <clears throat> I'm, uh, I'm done in Illustrator. Click the Done button on the top bar here. <clears throat> the Illustrator file is closed. And the application will jump back to Flash Catalyst, re-import, and you can see that the background is now changed. And Catalyst also will give me the option to make that change across all of the pages that use this uh, particular artwork. So if I click Make Same in all other states, momentarily, these thumbnails will be updated. And you, <clears throat> and you can see this change propagated across all of these pages. So even though I had already gone and programmed um, a lot of the interactivity and the animation in this application, I didn't have to 
uh, redo any of that work, Catalyst reintegrated the artwork right in the place that it needed to be in this project. So for a lot more information on Flash Catalyst, take a look at the videos that are coming from uh, Doug Winnie, Program Manager for Flash Catalyst.